And in one case, a wetsuit, thieves are targeting and stealing boats in a matter of minutes from a popular port. And twice now, the thefts have actually been caught on camera. Cole Miller shows you from Washougal. You know, we have a lot of boats here, a lot of assets. Along the calm waters of the Columbia, they might be targeting specific type of boats. The port of Camas Washougal, home to some 350 boats, is now dealing with a problem it hasn't ever seen before. A problem not even that barbed wire or this gate can keep out. He's in a wetsuit, um, so he knew he was going to be get, coming through the water to get onto our docks. That wetsuit wearing man hops on one of the vessels. You can see it rocking there on the left. But literally takes him like less than 15 minutes, you know, total to get on, hot wire the boat, unties it, and off he goes. You guessed it, it does not belong to him. Fast, you know, he's, he's, he's a professional. That was last month, and then just last week. He knows right where he's going, he's making sure nobody can see him. It's a guy in a hoodie and jeans. And it takes him no time whatsoever, and the boat's gone. In his 14 years as the facilities manager here, Jeremy Wilcox is understandably frustrated. He points to the low river as being the way in for those bandits. He was able to walk with when the water was at its lowest, I mean, and just step right up to the dock. It was just too easy. Not far from here, just up the river on the east side of the port, a third boat was stolen. The crook in that theft able to elude cameras. And that too is frustrating for Wilcox. The port just recently installing eight new cameras. So as he waits for the river to rise, there is some good news. All three of those stolen boats have since been recovered. Some though stripped of some expensive equipment. And those prowlers, they're still out there somewhere. If you see something that doesn't make sense, let somebody know. In Washougal, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News.